Hi everyone, my name is Jolene. I'm the founder and director of Langer Project Penang, LPP, a citizen science-driven primate research and conservation project in Malaysia that focuses on the conservation of dusky langers, Trichipithecus obscurus. And here are some of the LPP members, where we call ourselves Duskies, will be sharing with you some interesting facts about the species of primates. Here are some facts about the Dusky Langers. Dusky means dark in colour, and Langer means the long-tailed monkey. This species can be easily identified by their white round markings around their eyes, which looks like a pair of spectacles. Hence, they are also called the spectacled Langers. Dusky Langers can be found in Peninsular Malaysia, Myanmar, and also Thailand, including small islands like Penang. They live in the forest, coastal areas, and recreational parks, where they are more used to human presence, and also urban areas, where wildlife and humans are struggling to coexist. Dusky Langers are social primates. They usually live in a group consisting of around 5 to 21 individuals, including an alpha male. They are arboreal, depending on trees to survive, where they feed mainly on leaves, fruits, and flowers, and also other small invertebrates. The infants of the dusky langer look very different from the adults. They are bright orange in color. This attractive color serves as a reminder for the group to pay attention and take good care of their young ones. It is also suggested that this bright orange color can help camouflage the infants from being targeted by predators. As the baby grows, its orange fur will slowly shed off and be replaced by dark grayish fur by 5 months old. The dusky langer is classified as an endangered species in the IUCN Red List. To know more about the dusky langers, LPP follows and observes dusky langers in Penang, Malaysia. We monitor their daily activities, their behaviors, and home ranges, and their diets in the fields. According to our observation, dusky langers are active during the day, but they spend more time on resting than on doing any other activities. Resting for prolonged hours is necessary for digestion and to keep energy expenditure low. This is typical of polyborous primates due to energy costly fermentation of cellulose in their stomachs. Other activities such as foraging and eating, social grooming, social playing, locomotion, and mating are also observed. Dusky Langers travels from tree to tree to look for food every day. The road that they follow changes depending on food availability, as their preferred food plants follow seasonal fruiting, flowering, and vegetative growth. Dusky Langers are often seen to choose unripe fruits and young leaves. Over 120 species of plants have been recorded as food plants of Dusky Langers in Penang, and more species are expected to be recorded in the future. Among the food plants being recorded are a few food plants considered the favorite of dusky langers in Penang. For example, Sento, Sandoricum koeti jape, jering in Malay language, Akidendron jeringa, ficus, Trapnasi also in Malay language, Atocarpus elasticus, C. almond, Terminalia katapa, etc. Tropical forest is a habitat for the dusky langers. However, as development grows, deforestation increases. How could dusky langers survive in human outer landscapes? When a forest is broken into smaller patches due to infrastructures like roads, walls, dams, wild animals are left with ever more crowded spaces. That causes competition among animals for food and shelter to become very intense. This is called habitat fragmentation. To avoid conflict, animals are forced to travel between fragmented habitats, often risking their lives to do so. In Telo Bahang Penang, the whole range of a troop of dusky langurs has been divided by a road 
with very busy traffic. To move from one side to the other, the skilangers will have to cross the road either by walking along an electric wire or by running across the road while avoiding the traffic. Imagine having to risk getting electrocuted and falling to death or getting hit by a car just to walk from your living room to your kitchen. Now imagine what can happen to a driver when all of a sudden a monkey runs in front of a car. That's why Langer Project Penang collaborated with Social Enterprise Aid Malaysia to build an urban canopy bridge in early 2019. Artificial canopy bridges like this restores connectivity between forest fragments for tree-dwelling animals and it reduces road kills in car accidents. The bridge has a camera trap set up in one of its end to monitor animal use. And so far, we have recorded over 779 animal crossings. The majority of the crossings is by the squirrels, but we also see long-tail macaques as frequent users of the bridge. The dusky langurs are more shy. It has taken them a longer time to get used to the new structure, but the trend of dusky langurs using the bridge is going up. And we hope to see more of them, especially a mother monkey carrying a baby crossing our bridge. Next, how does Langur Project Penang engage the general public in the conservation of dusky langurs? LPP has been very active online and offline in engaging the local community in conserving the dusky langurs by raising public awareness through environmental education programs. For example, we have outreach programs like Map the Dusky Langers and also LPP Experience where we guide the participants into the forest to learn more about the dusky langers and also about the forest itself. Through these programs, the participants can get first-hand experience that are not available in the classroom. By reconnecting people with the nature, we will be able to appreciate our wildlife even more. We also encourage the local community to participate in our citizen science initiatives through filling up online questionnaires about Dusky Langer's presence in an urban environment to investigate human-wildlife interface. These data are crucial to our project as they allow us to investigate the latest population distributions of the Dusky Langer's and they can be potentially useful in prevention of the human-wildlife conflicts. Moreover, we also encourage global citizens from all cultures, all skills, all age groups to come and volunteer with LPP, giving opportunities to both LPP and also to the volunteers to grow as a community. Unfortunately, our on-site outreach program have to be put on hold due to the pandemic, and we are short in volunteers and funding also due to the pandemic. However, this pandemic has prompted us to better utilize the social media and online platforms to reach a wider audience and to continue our environmental education in the virtual world. Langer Project Penang aims to go far and we're not stopping here. Our future prospects are categorized into research, environmental education and conservation. For research, we aim to determine dusky langer's ecological role as seed dispersers or seed predators, behavioral ecology, and how dusky langer's cope in anthropogenic environments is the main research areas for Langer Project Penang. We are looking to understand the relationships between dusky langer's and the forest and how they adapt in anthropogenic environments after human activities encroach their natural habitats. The results will then lead us to expand our next conservation action plan. In terms of conservation, Langer Project Penang has concrete plans to build the second urban canopy bridge in Malaysia. This time, we're going to build the canopy bridge in a different environment. Residential areas are our main area of concern as there has been countless sightings of monkeys walking on rooftops and on cable wires. Our canopy bridges come equipped with a camera trap powered by a solar panel to sustain the battery of the camera. An even greater goal is for us to not just remain in Penang, but to expand to other states to observe Langer's there as well. Lastly, Langer Project Penang aims to establish a public education hub in Malaysia where people of all ages can come together and get involved in hands-on conservation projects. We hope that this platform will be a catalyst for closer interactions among the local community, Langer Project Penang members and long-term volunteers. If you're passionate about the conservation of langurs, you can come be a part of our citizen science projects where you can be the eyes and ears of our wildlife residents. Our citizen science project includes dusky langur sightings, urban wildlife sightings, and road accident reportings. Thank you so much, duskies. 
Langer Project Penang will continue working very hard to further enhance our research, conservation and education. We welcome everyone on board to join us as a team. Do check out our social media for more information. Thank you very much.